Hello everybody. Well, today is November 30th. Today is the last day of this month. And I plan doing a recording what the Lord is telling me about 2023 on YouTube. But later on, I felt the Lord wants me to do it on live Facebook. Because uh, normally when I do it on Facebook, I download it on YouTube. And so I want to even um, use this opportunity to thank all the um, my YouTube viewers and also encourage you to share the links and also subscribe if uh, what I'm teaching or what I'm giving, you know, resonate with your heart. I want to just encourage you to subscribe. So, I'm going to give the word that God is giving me for 2023. And after that, I have a teaching on prayer that I have to do. So, it's just like my time is very short. So, I'm going straight to the word that God is giving me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Well... I heard certain words and I saw certain words. So I'm going to say, I heard physical hunger. Physical hunger is coming. I mean, people will, be, will not have enough money to eat or to spend on what they want to eat. And this will turn into spiritual hunger for God. A lot of people will be desperate seeking for God. Number two, I had disorders, governmental, it will be global. What I'm talking is mostly global. So I have the United Nations. Normally what I do on my background, most of the time I want it to be prophetical. This is United Nations flag, it's covering. So I'm talking about the world. We just have to pray because we need the grace of God and the third thirdly I need a well I had global persecution of churches so it's something that <coughs> pardon me is something that is connected the whole world Christians churches will be persecuted and so we have to be ready and the church will go through purification God is going to prune the church. He's going to prune the leaders, the congregation. He's going to prune. <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> pardon me. But it will start from the top. God is going to prune. So we should be ready for that. And rebellion against authorities. A lot of people will rebel. A lot of people will rebel against authority. So we see that crime, drug, evil will escalate in this nation, USA. But of course, when it increases here, it will affect other nations, but I hear about this nation. But that I'm going to um, say uh, on the next one that I hear, that's it. Uh, God will, there will be a lot of surprises. In spite of the chaos, God will, through his divine grace, open closed doors and favor to several impossible situations, which means in spite of, the, of this chaos, God will work out miracles in the lives of many people. But what I see is that it will be uh, with the church because God uh, the church is the channel through which God prays. And then this uh, uh, story in the Bible came to my mind. Second Kings 7, 1 and 2. So I'm going to read it. Then Elisha said, hear the word of the Lord. That says the Lord. Tomorrow about, about this time, a, a share of flour shall be sold for a shekel and two shares of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. 
saw an officer on whose hand the king leaned and sent the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, could this be? And he said, In fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. This story came to my mind, and I feel like, you see, an impossible situation will happen in so many ways, maybe individual's life, but God will kind of open the door in a miraculous way. So, in spite of the chaos, we will see a lot of miracles happening. Because um, the persecution will cause the church to, to wake up. And also the purification that the church will go through, it will bring some kind of, you know, wake the church up. For the, so the church will, will be prayerful and watchful. That's what is going to happen from uh, in 2023. Okay, and the next one is, uh, the Lord is going to call um, several young gen younger generation. God, God has set or will set apart a lot of the younger generation that he's going to use. And so we will see that, you know, coming out, a lot of the younger generation coming out. I mean, coming out, um, God calling them, you know, be be on fire for God or, you know, being passionate about the kingdom of God. And then uh, the next one I heard was that the U.S. will disintegrate. I heard this word, U.S. will disintegrate. So already we, we can see that it's, it's kind of, it's, there's a division, there's kind of, it's not good, but it's going to be worse. And it will be like a woman in labor, but the prayer of the saints will turn the situation round for this nation to be restored for the end time harvest. And then I heard, for the, I heard the spirit of the Lord saying, for I have called this nation as a nation, as a mission nation, to send the gospel of the kingdom to the nations. So this is what the Lord is saying. It's just few points, but it's very deep. And then I just want to encourage every believer, if you're a believer, I just want to encourage you, we have to pray against a lot of suicidal, uh, homicide, you know, for the, uh, I mean, for the suicidal rate to come down. We have to rate, um, pray, constantly pray, because the chaos, the enemy will use that to oppress and torment some people to take their lives. So we have to pray that, that uh, God will bring the rate down. And so this is the word of the Lord. And I just want to pray and just uh, end it because uh, I don't want it to be long. It's just if if I try to kind of like explain it, it's going to be big. But I just gave you what I heard. And so fiscal hunger, spiritual hunger, disorder, chaos, governmental, you know, it will be governmental globally global persecution of the church the church will go through purification that's a that'll be like sort of judgment coming to the church and of course it will affect uh, the uh, you know um other sphere of influence and a rebellion against authority and a crime and drug they are going to increase because what what we are seeing i want to add is what we are going through is the enemy, the devil, Satan himself, wants to bring the world to an end. But it's not the time of God. And Satan is using that through worldly leaders and people of influence for the global reset. And so God is going to frustrate what the enemy is doing, but it will be through the prayers of the saints. 
And so if the pray, if the saints do not wake up, it's going to be, things are going to be worse. And so that's why God is going to allow us to go through persecution. And that persecution and that suffering, that traveling will cause us to wake up and to pray. And then that will bring the restoration of God's will. God will restore USA for it to be the nation that God wants it to be. God has called it to be. Because God wants U.S. to stand and raise up a generation that will send the gospel to the kingdom, uh, to the nations. It will send the, the gospel of the kingdom of God to the nations for the end time harvest. Because the Lord is coming soon. So this is uh, the nutshell. Uh, in a nutshell, this is the, the what I'm trying to say. So God bless you. Father God, I thank you, Father, for your word. And I thank you that your word doesn't return void. And so right now, Father, I pray that you open the hearts of your children, your people. You open for us to see and, and understand what you are speaking to us. Lord, I pray that you deliver us from our excuses, from fear, from living in, uh, from our complacency. Get us out of our comfort zones for us to stand as the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And so I pray right now that you revive us, you shake us from our slumberness. And Lord, I pray that you pour your spirit upon the nations is a time of revival it's a time to seek your face not only your hands but to seek your face because if we see your face we will see your hand and so i thank you lord and i give you all the praise let the knowledge of of you lord covers the air as the waters cover the seas it's time for us to rise and shine because your glory is upon us and the dying world is looking to us for us to be manifested but if we do not have any hope then father god they are hopeless to the to the bottom so we are the hope for the hopeless situations going on all over the world right now so let us arise and shine in your name lord jesus you sure i pray amen so i want to thank you all and God bless you. Till next time on the Prophetic Alert is bye.